everybody, Sticky Piston here, back with another video. Now today, I'm going to be showing you how to build this super awesome and also super small lever combination lock in Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition. So, let's get on with this tutorial. Okay, so, how this thing works is that there are eight levers and also this lamp. We will need to put in the correct combination for this lamp to light up. And also if we have a redstone door or just say for example like an iron door hooked up to this thing, then if we get the combination right, the door will open. I don't know why I'm just looking here as if there's a door there. Because clearly there is not, although there is a piston door over here. Although I don't have it hooked up to the combination lock. So first off, let's try a few incorrect passcodes. So let's try just flicking random levers. You can see that doesn't work. Let's try again, maybe do like the square in the middle. No, that also doesn't work. Let's try doing like a wave. No, that also doesn't work. The correct combination for this lock is the two at the top, like so, and then these two at the bottom. You can see the lamp lights up indicating we have got the thing correct. And also you might be like, oh, you only need these levers. What happens if I flick another lever? Well, as you can see, it doesn't work. So it's also checking if there are any incorrect levers in the sequence. Okay, so now that you have seen how this thing works, let's get on with this tutorial. materials that you will need for this tutorial Ah, oh, redstone dust, redstone repeaters, redstone torches, any solid blocks for redstone to go on. I'm just using different colors of wool to color code the different circuits. You'll also need levers, which are the things you will actually flick to enter the combination. You'll also need decoration blocks and lamps, redstone lamps. Do note that these redstone lamps are optional. You do not need them for this build to function correctly. Okay, so you want to find where you want to build this contraption. I'm just going to sit... Uh, actually, I already have it saved here. I'm just going to sit this block here in the air to bedrock. Of course, if you were to build this in your world, creative or survival, you would probably build this next to something that you would like to keep locked away from the wrong people. So say for example you have like a bank vault that you want to store all your diamonds then you would put this and hook it up because you see here there's this pink line here going to the redstone lamp you can actually hook that up to any piston door such as this one which let me know in the comment section if you want a tutorial for this door. But you can have your vault door hooked up to the combination lock. So when you get the combination lock right, it opens. Okay, so enough talking about how you can use this combination lock. Let's actually get to building it. So, you want to start by just placing a single iron block. This is where your levers are going to go on. Or you can use any other blocks. I'll just be using iron for this tutorial. You want to then place one above it and three to the right of it. And then like so. So you should see it's now a two by one, two, three, four block area. You then want to place levers on each and every one of those blocks. And now you want to build a little frame surrounding it in different blocks. Then place your lamp here if you would like to have it and then surround it in blocks so it should now look something like this. We are now done with our decoration blocks. We can get rid of those for now. We now want to grab out our redstone blocks and we're gonna start with the redstone. Okay, so come to the back of the build where we can still see these iron blocks but we can't see the levers. We want to place a redstone torch 
on each and every one of these blocks. Then above these top redstone torches, you want to place blocks. Then in front, or I guess behind, because we're going to the back, of these redstone, of these bottom torches, you're going to place a temporary block and then one down and remove this block. Then you want to have repeaters all facing towards the back of the bulb, like so. So you can see all of these repeaters are on because all of these torches are on. And also make sure you don't have any levers flicked here at the back. Then in front of each of these repeaters you want to have blocks. And then in front of each of those blocks you want to have torches. So it looks like this. Then on top of these torches you want to have blocks. And then have even more torches on those blocks like so. And then have blocks on those torches as well. So now from the top it should look something like this. Now you will need to decide what combination you would like to enter. So for this lock I want to have this as the combination. So it's like the lever here and then an L shape like. So, of course you can do literally any combination you would like. Okay, so once you have your combination decided, you then want to decide how you want to build it. So, you can see here, this is how it's going to look from for the top levers and also for the bottom levers. So if you want, so you can see on the highest blocks of the structure, so you can see here, the torch here for the top levers, the torch goes into this block like so. And then also for the bottom ones, it's the torch into this repeater and then this torch tower into this block. If you want your lever to be flicked downwards, so it's flicked on, you want to have dust. But if you want the lever to be flicked off, so it's still upwards, you would like you would want to place a redstone torch so let's go back to our bolt so i can show you what i mean by that so this lever here we would like to be on so we can go here and place dust this lever we also want to be on so we can place more dust like so so you can see here it looks like this and then on each of these levers we want off, we place torches. Now for the bottom levers, which are here at the back, I want the first two levers to be off, so I'll place torches. And then I want the last two levers to be on, so I'll place dust. And you should see everything here is off. If one of them is on, then you have not put the dust and torches in the correct places for your combination. So you can see if I flip this lever, then you see this torch goes on and now this redstone is on, indicating we have got the password incorrect. Now to actually hook this up to our lamp or whatever we want to hook it up to. You want to start by placing blocks like so in the middle of the yellow and blue circuits. Then fill all these blocks with dust. Then place another block and place dust. Then place a torch on the side of it like so. Then come here just underneath this lamp and place two blocks like so. And then place dust like that. So you can see the lamp is now on indicating that the passcode is correct. Now I'm just going to grab out some blocks and also a iron door to make a tiny little room just to show you how you can hook up this combination lock to any door no door you want to then run redstone from wherever the the pink line is and run it up and then to where your door is. So in my case, I'm just gonna like put a repeater here and then dust. 
And you can see here now the door opens when the passcode is correct. But if we say add another lever to make the code incorrect, you can see that now the door closes. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for what I should do next. Uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you wish and hit that bell button to stay notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyways guys, that's it for me. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.